Hello and welcome to its tomorrow news. On August 26, 1883, a violent eruption began in Indonesia at Krakatoa, locally known as Krakatau. During the next 24 hours, hot avalanches of ash raced down the volcano and across the sea. Most of the volcanic island collapsed into the ocean, triggering tsunamis and creating a giant underwater crater or calderas. The eruption devastated surrounding islands and coast of Java, causing over 36,000 fatalities. The eruption was at Krakatoa, an island in the fairway of the Strait of Sunda, about midway between Java and Sumatra. Krakatoa was but a small, uninhabited island, but 5 miles long and 3 miles wide. It had two elevations of which the taller, called the peak of Krakatoa, rose 2750 feet above the sea. On the adjacent land are volcanic cones, some active, some slumbering and other dead. It is recorded that Krakatoa itself was active in 1680 and that voyagers in the vicinity encountered in that year a great storm and an earthquake at sea accompanied by most frightful thunders and cracklings. Mention was also made of the strong sulphur atmosphere and a large quantities of pumice floating on the sea. Since that time, the island had been at rest and was noted by travelers chiefly for the beauty of its tree-clad slopes, the first verdant spot to greet the eye after a long weeks at sea. The eruption was one of the deadliest and most destructive volcanic events in recorded history. The explosion was heard 3110 kilometers away in Perth, Western Australia and Rodrigues near Mauritius, 4,800 kilometers away. The sound was claimed to be heard in 50 different locations around the world and the sound wave is recorded to have traveled the globe seven times. At least 36,417 deaths are attributed to the eruption and the tsunamis it created. Ships as far as South Africa rocked as tsunami hit them and the bodies of victims were found floating in the ocean for months after the event. The tsunamis which accompanied the eruption were believed to have been caused by the gigantic pyroclastic flows entering the sea. Each of the four great explosions was accompanied by the large pyroclastic flows resulting from the gravitational collapse of the eruption columns. This caused several cubic kilometers of material to enter into the sea, displacing an equal volume of sea water. The town of Merak was destroyed by the tsunami, which was 46 meters high. Some of the pyroclastic flows reached the Sumatra coast as much as 40 kilometers away, having apparently moved across the water on the cushion of the superheated stream. There are also indications of the submarine pyroclastic flows reaching 15 kilometers from the volcano. Significant additional effects were also felt around the world in the days and weeks after the volcano's eruption. Additional seismic activity was reported until February 1884. In the years before 1883 eruption, seismic activity around the Krakatoa volcano was intense with the earthquakes felt as far as Australia. Beginning on 19th May 1883, steam venting began to occur regularly from the Parbovatan, the northernmost of the island's three cones. Eruptions of the ash reached an estimated altitude of 6 kilometers and explosions could be heard in the new Baltavia, 160 kilometers away. The combination of pyroclastic flows, volcanic ash and tsunamis associated with the Krakatoa eruptions had disastrous regional consequences. Some land in Banten, approximately 90 km south, was never repopulated. It reverted to jungle and is now Ujung Kulon National Park. The official death toll recorded by the Dutch authorities was 36,417. Krakatoa lies along the convergence of the Indian, Australian and Eurasian tectonic plates, a zone of high volcanic and seismic activity. 
Sometimes within the past million years, the volcano built a cone-shaped mountain composed of the flows of volcanic rock alternating with the layers of cinder and ash. From its base 1000 feet below the sea level, the cone projected about 6000 feet above the sea. Later the mountain top was destroyed forming a caldera, a bowl shaped depression 4 miles across. Portions of the caldera projected above the water as four small islands. Krakatoa was quiet until December 1927 when a new eruption began on the seafloor along the same line as the previous cones. In early 1928, a rising cone reached the sea level and by 1983, it has become a small island called Anak Krakatoa or a child of Krakatoa. The volcano has been active sporadically since that time and the cone has continued to grow to an elevation of about 1000 feet above the sea. That's all for now. For more news updates, stay tuned with us. It's tomorrow news. For more global weather updates like this, subscribe our channel and hit the bell icon for regular updates.